what is up everyone in this video i'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna be building briar in the new season with all the new item changes i'm gonna show you guys exactly the way to make her the broken champion that she is and on honestly the new items are so good you can either go bruiser or lethality this game i'm gonna show you guys the bruiser build it's just so good for her she's honestly super broken right now and it's just really good to play so here i'm gonna start I'm going to start W. Our clear is really the classic. We're just always going to solo if we can. Solo Raptor Camp. Auto attack. Auto attack W. Just make sure they're all stacked up and all that good stuff. Remember to try to get the last hit off. If you have the attack speed rune, it's quite easy to get the last hit off. If you don't, then... Well, you can't really get that last hit off. But yeah, if you go Halo Blades, you're going the Lethality build. If you're going for the Bruiser build, you want to go into the Stride Breaker. Or not Stride Breaker. You won't go into the Conqueror. Which is quite important. There we always get the last auto off. And we're going to go into our E into the knockup. And just finish off the babies. That spawn was a bit odd. Yeah, the new map changes are huge for this game. Like, there's just so much going on. There's a lot of potential everywhere. Top lane is more of an island, but... I do think it's just better to farm in general right now. Getting... The only lane that's really easy to kill is bot lane now. Genki bot is quite easy. As you can tell. But trying to like for me to try to gank top from river, it's extremely difficult. You're gonna be spotted very early on, which is not that good for you. And you just want to avoid going and wasting time in your ganks. Like the void grubs are really good too, so you just want to play around the void grubs. Briar is really good at doing them. You pretty much take no damage. You can apply your bleed onto all the void grubs, so it's very easy for you to do. So that's definitely, I don't know. You do want to play around, you know, top side, but. You don't want to gank too much and waste time. So here we're just going to do our full clear. I prefer just full clear into crab. I think it's very good. You could smite there, but I'm just going to save my smite in case. It's actually easy to get invaded compared to before. Here we're going to E and then auto into right click auto. Yeah, it's very easy to get invaded now with blue buff side you can see the walls just all open up top he might be walking this way so maybe okay base so if he bases we can go for crab the map just opens up completely blue side is just extremely open so you always have to watch out for that here i'm against a nocturne nocturne also very broken jungler so watch out for that and ganking mid is extremely difficult i mean it's just quite impossible to gank mid you're just gonna hit the plant to see it's clear and since our raptor, since we started raptor solo, you can always remember your raptor will respawn. Here you can avoid being spotted by just walking this way. And yeah, if you solo raptors, you always want to be back in time to get it. It's just your respawn time is important. Okay, usually you can get over there, but I guess there wasn't actually a possibility. And sometimes you got to go really close to the wall to get the jump over, but... Could be Briar just acting a little funky right now. Generally, if you if you're right here, I mean the wall changes. The map's different now, so you have to you have to kind of adjust to the the changes. The map changes are, I mean the game hasn't changed like this for so many years. Here we're gonna eat into the wall, and ideally you want your first base to just be really, you know, just really efficient. So here I'm gonna have my buy. These are all the new items. I prefer to do this clear so I can have a team at to speed up my clear. Or if you don't get the team out, you can always build into the tunneler item. Team out's really nice though. It adds to effects. See how the voice spawns? This is actually a perfect timer. You will have team at really ready for the voice spawns. And a lot of people fight for the voice. The void grubs are very strong. They're very important to as an objective. So it's just a very important thing to be ready to fight. So here I'm going to walk in. I'm going to ping my team just so they can understand that. Why is my ping so low? How important it is to get them. If you're not going to get them, then might as well get the kills. I'm going to E for a bit of a stack. Okay. So you can see the Tiamat is back with the active. You always want to cast the active as soon as possible. They were actually able to get the Void Grubs. There's not much we can do about that, though. 
my team is very slow to react. A lot of the game is all about fighting for the void. Those early grubs are very easy to steal and do. But Briar's clear with Tiamat is just insanely strong. Like, you just have to play for your item spites. I, I really love Tiamat, so I I'm very big on him. Ganging top is hard, but it's not impossible. Top laners still do stupid things. And when a wave's this far up, then it's very easy to do. Having a pink in this brush is pretty much guaranteed to just control. You control the lane by having a pink there. So it's very important to kind of be around that kind of thing and be aware of it. So here we're going to go for the Gromp here. You always want to use the active. Same way you use the, the whip active. Just use it between your abilities. It does help you stack conquer too. So having a Tiamat passive is really nice. The other option is to go for the Umbral Glaive, which is pretty much it's the assassin version of it. So if I show you guys, this one is the other one that you could be possibly going. It builds out a team map, but Brutalizer. So you'd probably end up going Brutalizer if you're going to go for that one. But this game, we're going to go for the, the fighter one. I, here, you always have to watch out for that one baby that doesn't want to die. But it really speeds up your clear, which I think is very good to have. Nocturne is going to get the crab. I don't want to do crab here because... Just the risk of getting... Alistar will roam up, so there's a bit of danger. Thing is, the Void Grubs, what they do is they give you a lot of money, right? Or not money. They're just important for the team to get, like, tower advantage, but they're actually not that good for gold. Like, they're, they're not going to give you that much gold or experience. So if you're doing, like, the Void Grubs, thinking you're going to get a lot of gold or experience, no, it's more of a team objective. But it's good if you're... If it's good, like, to do it... If you're not going to miss anything off it, right? Like, it's that's, like, the value of it. Headshot. Like, same thing with Dragon. Like, well, it's good if you get it for free, but, like, it's not something you want to do. If you're just going to die off it. You really have to prioritize your farm. No, I think Dragons are weaker. Playing for, like, the two Void Grub spawns are really important. And, yeah, this game we're going Titanic. I, I think for Briar, I just love... One of the Hydras is just essential for her. Getting boots is very good. When I go Bruiser, I'm testing... I think CDR boots is pretty important. Well, I think it's it's cheaper, but it gives five less ability haste. But I think for Briar, it's actually really hard to get ability haste now with how items are. They nerfed ability haste items a lot. So I think CDR boots is really good to have. I also think early games might be a bit more important. So just buying like an early CDR boots with a TM out or something would have been a good buy for me instead of going for like this on early but yeah the void grubs they spawn two sets of them so you got pretty much two void grubs spawns and it's just really good to not give them all of them like I, if i give them the first three i don't want them to get the rest because that would actually be a problem because if they get the rest they get the void spawns the baby grubs which is very annoying. So here I just want to stack them all into the, the wall if I can. See we have Nocturne coming. I'm going to E. I have a heal coming. There's only so much you can do, but like I said, you don't want them to get all the void grubs. You, you do want some of them. Here, I could go for the, you know, the buy here. High level quality. I would love to have TM out right now. If I had my Titanic right now, it'd be insanely good. Like, I think, I think Briar is super broken, by the way. Like, if you play her, she's so much better too. But yeah, we don't want to give them all of them. People are really horny for it, though. So they always just do it. They're, they get really horny for the voidies. 
But you should try to get them, is what I'm saying. But you see the AoE of Tiamat, all the other abilities. Very important. If you were going to play to fight, I'm just going to buy my time. I'm going to go on Nocturne. He's already low. I'm going to E the rest of them to buy myself more time. You can apply your passive on the Void Grubs if you really want. You want to just start to heal a lot. Remember, if, if, you're, if there's someone near you... Remember, if there's someone near you, you can always Q the Void Grubs to get good value. And in the Void Grubs, you, you gotta kill the babies, man. The babies, the children, if you wanna get that good shit value. I think Bri with Titanic and possibly CDR Boots is just perfect. And then you go into Cleaver. Oops. And it's just extremely broken. So pretty much if you get four or five, or if you get five or six of the Void Grubs, you start to spawn, what, what are they called, like baby voids when you when you push towers and stuff. Okay, we got to see our boots. So here's like when I feel like, oh my god, like I, this build is so powerful. Titanic is such a good item. It gives you an active, so make sure we're going to use the active in our in our combo. And yeah, for builds, Cleaver, Sterix, still very good. Sterix is a bit different now. It just gives you flat 20% tenacity, which is good. Here, I think they're going to play for Dragon. If I have R up, I'll fight it. I don't care if they do Crab because I don't really have much priority in my lanes. But I do not want them to get Dragon. And this, after the Void Grubs are dead, pretty much the game, the next thing is the Herald. The Herald is just a one-time a once one time spawn now. So you just have to think about that. Also remember, like it's just very important to just... It's just very important to just farm. Farm, farm, farm. I think there might be in this brush. You can see the damage I can apply with my Titanic is very crazy. But also my teammates, very well played. There the focus was not ideal. Nocturne actually spell shielded my arm, but it is what it is. But I think Titanic and Briar is just giga broken. You do so much AoE damage, it's just not balanced. And it gives you such good stats, 550 HP, 55 attack damage. And that also auto attack reset, it gives you extra burst too. Yeah, it's just insanely good on her. Especially with how much AoE damage you generally apply on her. It has such good synergy, it feels so good to have. I, I mean, I've been like loving it. But then you need abilities, right? So that's this is where it, it becomes... The new Phage is actually good now. Before I thought Phage was shit, but... I think the new Phage is pretty good. Kindle Gem is better now because there's much less ability hits in the game. This is why I say CDR Boots is just feels really good to have. Because you honestly don't have much ability hits items anymore. They want to fight, but... The Herald's up. So here, even if I have no R, it's still pretty good to fight. I always want to look for angles. The walls are all different, but... Going for the Annie could be good chasing them as well. I'm insanely strong, so... Here, I don't have E up, so if I go in, I'm gonna wait for my E before I go in, or Camille's E. I'm going to buff for the R so I don't get hit by tower shots. And I'm going to all. You, if you feel like you're about to get into range of the tower, remember, you can always buffer your R. Like, it just feels so good to play Briar now. Bruiser Briar just seems so broken. Even Lethality, though, you could go the Umbral Glaive item at, or the new Hydra. And it's actually very broken, too. Also, the new Herald, very broken. <laughs> But it only spawns once, and it spawns later, but it's even more. 
Like, dragons don't really matter. I, I think it's just very good to play top, top side. Or not so like top side, but like when objectives are up, you really want to play for them. Like you don't want the enemy team to get six void grubs or five. If they do, you're kind of fucked. So now with the new herald, I can use it sort of like as a, like I can ride it pretty much. Also, we have the new map where the, the new map is kind of stupid. It drops these ember things. Like the new infernal dragon drops like ember things. You just want to pick them up. It's like a mini game, but you just stack them up. It gives you a bit more damage and a bit more ability haze. This unit has increased ability haste from collecting Infernal Souls, yeah. Here, I can try to fight here. The new Herald, you can actually control it, so it's a very cool interaction. Here, she actually doesn't have any walls. You see how I auto-attack into the Titanic combo? Very nice. If the auto-attack reset... Bro, my champion has like seven auto-attack resets now. I really hate the minigame of the Infernal things. Here, I could Herald, but I don't think I need to. It's so good that you kind of want to save it for like the next one. You see the burn I'm applying? It's a, it's a, the Void Grub thing. The Ember gives you a bit of movement speed. You see how I auto attack Titanic? Titanic is an auto attack reset too, so if you know my videos, I like to talk about auto attack resets a lot. Very good. It applies the AOE on everything. So here, once I get Cleaver, I'm in like a really good position. Generally, the build relatively the same. So I go like into Sterix afterwards. There are a lot of new items that are good. This one is what I like to go as well. Like I always go Sterix or this item. I think Sundered Sky is very good. The reason why this is so good on Briar, I would probably go this in this game. Super broken on Briar because your heal is is scales off of your hp being low so you have this unique passive where you get your healing is increased the lower you are so having this item is really good so i build it on briar third or sterix or even both of them afterwards but if i'm doing okay then i'll probably just buy this the sunder sky so here i have r up if they want to fight us Remember, auto attack. Use the auto attack reset. Here I can drop Herald. Now you drop it in a spot. And then you right click and you can control where it goes. Okay, I didn't mean to drift it like that. Well, come on, I gotta give him. Bro, Herald, what are you doing, man? Okay, okay. I think my Herald's a bit dysfunctional. Like, and when people die, they drop like these infernal shards or whatever. You can actually drive it. I'm a bit drunk when I drive. You see how fast we are. Q auto. Very, very good. That's why it's important to have a certain amount of ability haste. We have a lot of HP. You see the healing is insane, especially with the new item. It's even more healing. Uh, I mean, I love this build. I, I think Briar is so broken with this build. 2350 is how much I need for it. Honestly, I'm not big on the Infernal map. I mean, I'm, I don't really like mini games. Like randomly having these map things, yeah, it's just, I'm not big on it. But yeah, with this build, with the Sundered Sky, like I'm talking, like you guys, I'm saying this, it's so good. Like, I, I can't even believe it. You just, if you've been watching my Briar videos and you try this Bruiser build, you just know how to auto attack reset. Uh, Briar is just going to feel so good. And yeah, the Lethality build's good too. Lethality's a bit squishier. It, it's perfectly fine, but you do end up being a bit squishy. So yeah, Sterix, 20% tenacity. It gives you 50 less HP. Still pretty good. But it's better a bit later. 
Yeah, tank items are good for MR, so I probably go Sterix here. I don't know, Stridebreaker is not that good anymore. Usually I go Sterix and I get one of these like MR items. The tank MR items are really broken. So this crits and heals you every six seconds on a champion. So it just depends on who you're you're playing against. They could rush Baron, so I don't want them to rush Baron. I just like it because it gives me ability. Like this gives me how much ability hates I kind of need to to play play my champion. I feel like your champion needs like I need a certain amount of ability haste so my champion doesn't feel like shit. That item is the new one, Trailblazer. I don't really want to... I don't want to R and Alistar. I want to go on Camille. I can win anyone side lane with this build. Extremely strong. You just look at that damage. The importance of ability haste. You see how being able to get that chase off is really essential. Like having to... I feel like this is just so good to have. And the CDR boost helps you get it, your ability haste early game. Because there's not that many ability haste items. These are like your most consistent one. You could go Spear of Sojin, but it's not that good on Briar. Because she doesn't really... Briar doesn't have spells, really. If I'm being honest about Briar, like she just doesn't have spells to stack Spear of Sojin. I have Lyric one or two abilities. That would count for Spear of Sojin. Also, Blade is really good, but Blade's a bit... Not as... Well... Depends what you're, what you're already building. Blade could be a good build, but... I think stacking HP... Is just ideal right now. Look how fast you clear. You could potentially play Briar in lane too. With all these changes. See the Titanic is applying. I, I literally killed Nocturne without even. Headshot. Okay, I lost all my little baby shards. <sighs> my baby shards are gone. And yeah, for MR, if I was against the MR comp. Maw, I'm not big on Maw. I'd rather just go into... These MR items are actually really good. Force of Nature is really good. Gives you literally... Like, better off getting a tank MR item. They're super overtuned now. Spear Visage didn't really get buffed. Force of Nature gives you... A lot of MR. Gives you 70 bonus MR when it's stacked. Very good. This one gives you a shield every time you go and leave fight. Scales off your HP. Pretty, a, a magic shield, 80 MR. Very nice. I would probably end up buying one of these items. This game, Force of Nature, looks pretty good. But I'd probably end up going, I probably would have went Sterics first, to be honest. Or you could just go Sterics and final item Jack Show, so you have 50 armor, 50 MR. Sort of like building, uh, like it, it's sort of like when you would build. This game, I probably wouldn't have gone MR. I probably would have just done what I told you. I would have gone Sterics and last item like Jack Show, so I have armor and MR, or just Sterics into a possible DD angle too. Yeah, the new crab, if you kill it when it's in that form, it just spawns like little babies. It gives you more vision. Sorry. That's the titanic damage for you. Oh, dude, I ha where did that come from? <laughs> That's the titanic damage there. 
this one gives you movement speed and it's more of a support item. We don't want to. We don't really want to build that. Deadman's is not the option. Eclipse, not a bad item, but. The shield you get from Eclipse, it doesn't really. Like, it gives you a really small shield. It gives you a very small shield. The goat build would have been Sterix. Now, if I went Sterix, I'd be really happy. And then, like, last item, Jack Show. And at that point, I'd be unkillable. The Titanic, really nice. It just feels so good. Auto attacks with this item heals you so much. It's already healed me 3,000. It's super broken on Briar, like I talked about. Just really broken on here. Actually, this one is essential to have. Like, you have to build this. It makes Bruiser Briar like a raid boss. Also, the new Baron just kind of has like so many weird things. Like, it just spawns like in a, in a really weird way. I really don't like the whole like mini game of the infernal shards, but it does give you a bit more ability haste. What the hell is happening? Baron is really hard to do, by the way. Very hard. It's not easy. Not many champions could even tank the way I'm tanking. But Briar is built different. You see how big this crab is? He gets bigger and bigger every level. You can always pick up these, like, shards, but honestly, I hate, I hate them so much. Once you get Sterix, just go Armor and Mar, and you're good to go. But this is a new spear. It just pretty much stacks up to four. With your abilities and three percent increased damage it's like okay i prefer to just go into jack show i think it's just easy to itemize as my last item just gives you armor gives you mr it's kind of like a mini gargoyle and then it amplifies your armor and your armor so it's not bad but yeah this build's like just amazing i i just love like briar and i love this build i do it on rex side too a bit different on Rek'Sai, it's a bit different because Rek'Sai, you don't really build this on Rek'Sai. This is like a really good Briar item. It's good on like Lee Sin too. A champion that wants to be in the fight for a long time. But you're pretty much a god at this point. There's a spell effect that you, if you notice, you can notice it, but it's hard to, hard to see sometimes, but... The champion has like this orb around them. It means it's it's kind of like the heart seal stacking thing. When they have the orb around them, it means you can attack for a good amount. Here I'm just gonna R. Tanking tower in that situation was not ideal. Tanking tower was a bit much. Do you know, funny thing is, if it wasn't for tower, like, 100% would have killed them all. Like, 100%. Later in the game, you can sell your boots for tabbies if you want. But you definitely, this is like, a, you have to have, like, a certain amount of abilities, or else it just feels really bad. And uh, tenacity-wise, you get 20% from Cerex. I already have the tenacity rune. So you're generally good on tenacity. That's not like a big deal. Other good items, possibly DD, but I think stacking HP just feels really good right now. Blade could be good. Blade is different now. It slows on your first auto, which is good on Briar because you you know you do wanna you do wanna auto.
Here, I'm gonna get red and then I'll probably try to end. Nocturne's really OP too. This item is really broken on Nocturne. You always should rush that one. Well, so far, what I can tell is champions that can rush Spear of Sojin that have a lot of abilities to spam are pretty good with it. If you're not, then you probably should go like Titanic. If your champion can rush Titanic, it's really good. If your champion has ulti, like Nocturne rushes this one, which is good for him. But overall, like it really depends on what you're playing against. But I think that should be the game. Ooh, one more fight. Look at that AoE, baby. It never ends. Hope you guys like the video. Should be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I've been enjoy your briar wins. Good luck in your games.